reflection at a plane surface consider a plane wave front ab bounded by two parallel rays pa and qb be incident obliquely on a plane reflecting surface xy the wave front first reaches xy at point a dash at this instant b reaches b dash as soon as the wave front reaches a dash it behaves as secondary source and begins to emit secondary waves in the same medium let the wave front at b dash move to the point c in time t if the speed of light in the medium is c then the distance b dash c is equal to ct during this time the secondary waves starting from a dash will cover an equal distance tracing out a semicircle whose radius is ct this becomes the secondary wave front as shown over here draw a tangent cd to this spherical surface c and d have same phase because light has traveled for equal time to reach these points thus cd represents the reflected wave front and is bounded by rays a dash s and c r if a normal a dash n is drawn to x y angle p a dash n is equal to angle i the angle of incidence and angle d a dash n is equal to angle r the angle of reflection from the geometry of this figure we can prove that i is equal to r thus the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection also from the figure it is clear that the incident ray reflected ray and normal lie in the same plane this reflection of a plane wave front from a plane surface can be explained and laws of reflection can be proved on the basis of eugen's wave theory